right, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a face swap. We're going to take uh, Justin's face and switch it with Selena. So here's how we're going to do it. Um, first, I'm going to grab the selection tool. I'm going to get an area larger than I need. Then I'm going to do Command and J. Once I do Command and J, then uh, this is going to copy this into a separate layer. I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing over here on Selena's face, but I need to switch from being on layer 1 because uh, there is nothing there for me to select except for this like one pixel that goes down there uh, and instead I'm gonna have the background layer selected so that way I'll actually be able to copy something so we'll do command J again and now I have both of their faces on separate layers uh, and I can move them independently of each other so once we do that let's go over to the move tool I'm gonna go ahead and scoot her face over here I'll scoot his face over here. Now we need to flip-flop these faces because right now they're facing the wrong way. So I'm going to click once on the corner. That's going to pull up transform controls. Once I've done that, then I can right-click on my picture, go to flip horizontal, and it will flip that layer. Now we'll do the exact same thing on layer two, which is Selena's face. Um, I just need to hit enter first so that way I can have Photoshop set the transform options. Uh, so I'm going to again click on a corner, then I'm going to right-click. Uh, we're going to do flip horizontal. So we got left click, then right click, then hit enter. Okay. Now that I've got these, uh, the way that I kind of like to do it is I like to go and uh, let's just work with one at a time. So I'll take his face first. We're going to take our opacity, bring it down. Once we've done that, um, I'm going to try and get the eyes to line up. And once I have the eyes lined up, then I'm going to go ahead and resize the face. So that way we have similar size placement for eyes, nose, and mouth. Okay. Now, once we've done that, I can hit enter. Maybe we need to rotate it a little bit so that way it kind of matches up a little bit more. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring my opacity of my layer back up. Once I've done that, go ahead and add a mask, grab your brush tool. Uh, then I'm going to use those bracket keys, shrink it down. I'm going to make sure that I'm painting black and make sure that you have a soft brush, something like that. So that way we can kind of blend our picture in. So we'll do that. Borrow some chin line there and then keep going. All right, that's looking pretty good. Okay, I got a little hiccup over here with the, uh, with the chin. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to switch back. All right, and I'll put some of her chin in there just like that. Bingo. Okay. Now that I've got that done, I'm going to switch to my second layer and then we're going to adjust this one. So I need to add a mask. Uh, well, actually, first, let's go ahead and resize it so that way it's going to line up. Again, I went to opacity. So I take this layer's opacity, bring that down, and then I'm going to scoot that up. Once I do that, um, we can go ahead and resize uh, her face so that way it kind of looks like it fits a little bit better. I think that'll work out. Okay, so um, now that I've got that, let's go ahead again, take this opacity, bring it up. Once we've got it, I'm going to go to my mask, grab my brush tool, and then I'm going to paint black. All right, and let's go ahead and paint black around like that. Okay, and we'll keep going. All right, and get a little bit bigger of a brush. Get some of that stuff set up. Let's go here, put this stuff back. Okay, and then I'm going to go move tool. Let's go ahead and rotate a little bit so that way it lines up. We're going to increase our face size a little bit here. I'll go back to my brush tool. Let's edit that mask some more. Um, and I'll go down here. Let's go let's put that back just like that. That's looking good. Okay, and we'll get rid of some of this stuff. Oops, too much. All right, let's zoom in. And then change my brush size again. All right, and we'll paint that along just like that. Okay, now there's some spots I need to clean up. Like there's some uh, there's some leftover stuff like glasses and stuff. So what we can do is I'm going to go to my background layer and grab the clone stamp tool, and I'm just going to copy some information from a different part of this picture. So I'm going to do an alt click, choose a source point. I'm going to choose my source point down here, and then I can go up. I'll get that to line up as best I can. And then we'll fix that spot right there. Then we've got some other like hair and stuff. So I'm going to do uh, alt click. So I'll click over here. Now I'm editing the background layer while I've got this uh, layer over the top of it. So this is what we're actually doing to our picture. Um, so we're just going to keep going around and editing. So I'm going to do alt click again. We'll borrow some spot here. Okay, there we go. And then um, I'm not going to waste any more time, but I can clean up my masks and all that kind of stuff and get set up. So um, I, I also have like a, 
little spot here that's driving me nuts, so let's go ahead and take care of it. So brush tool, X, we're going to paint black, and we'll cover that up. Okay, there you go, face swap, that's how you do it.